Hi, you guys. How are you tonight? I know I've been MIA, huh? Been super busy at the restaurant, so I thought I'd come to you with what I'm cooking for dinner. So it's a salmon with a creamy dill sauce. And I, I already baked, um, you bake it in the oven, of course, and I already baked the majority of it, but I wanted to still show you how to make the cream sauce, and then I saved a tiny little piece of salmon, and I'm gonna throw that in the oven for later, okay? Let me grab my pan, I'll be right back. Okay. So I got the recipe out of um, the one book that I was telling you about, The Keto Living um, Day by Day. And um, the nice thing about this book, that I told you guys this earlier, that it has all the ingredients in there. Hi, Stephanie. I hope you're feeling better. I missed you today. Okay, so um, it has all the nutritional value. It tells you, she has some little hints. She tells you how to make it, how to bake it, a little picture. It's a great book. So we're gonna, um, I'm gonna follow this directions. And like I said, I did bake some off or some in there right now, almost done. So I'm gonna get my bowl out. Where's my bowl? Oh, there's my bowl. I'm gonna make some green beans and show you that too, okay? I'm hoping that's not too bright. Okay. So it starts with mayonnaise, the best thing in the world. Mayonnaise, well maybe not in the whole world, but half a cup of mayonnaise. And I don't use a special brand, I just kind of use high fat mayonnaise. There is a recipe to make your own mayonnaise. I have not yet done that, but you can. I don't have a lot of time, so I don't make a lot of that kind of stuff. But there is a recipe for that. Even in this book or anywhere, you can get that anywhere. You just want to look up keto, make sure it's keto. Half a cup of sour cream. Again, don't use low fat when you're doing keto, of course, um, but you don't want anything that's sugar free or low fat. That's always got some kind of additive in it. So you don't want that. So how has everyone been? I haven't been here for a whole week, so I feel like I've missed y'all. It's been super hot, we've been super busy, so I don't get a lot of days off in the summer, so I haven't been able to cook very much. All right, half a cup of sour cream. Now, I don't have any onions, it calls for onions. So I didn't have an onion, so I just used a little bit of onion powder. It's not gonna be quite the same. I think the crunch of the, the onion would be really good. So I'm not gonna even tell you what the measurement of that is because it really isn't supposed to be in there, but it's still gonna be good. Okay, and then dill weed. And it calls for a lot of dill weed. I was kind of surprised. It's a, a tablespoon and a half of dill weed. So if you don't like dill weed, you could probably do something else in its place parsley or whatever you like. So there's a tablespoon and a half. And so basically I took out salmon yesterday, I think it was, and then um, let it thaw out and then you just pat it dry and then you're gonna make this sauce and just put the sauce on top and bake it. Super, super easy, great flavors. And then we're gonna add some lemon juice, two tablespoons. I use this kind of lemon juice. It's what I like because it's easy. I don't always have lemons on hand, but a freshly squeezed lemon would be even better. Hi, Tanya. Donnie, where's my fish? This would be perfect on my fish. We're gonna trade cookies for fish, right? Okay, next thing, garlic. Again, you can buy garlic and chop it up, or you can buy it already chopped up. That's what I do. Okay, a quarter teaspoon of garlic, minced. See how good that's looking? And if you guys can't see everything because of the comments, just swipe it, they'll go away. What would you guys like to see me cook? Who out there is doing keto? Tell me about it. How you doing on it? 
you have any questions? Do you want me to make something special? I'm trying to come, you know, a couple times a week, at least two, maybe three. So I need some ideas. You guys give them to me and I will cook it. Okay, so let's make sure we have mayonnaise, sour cream, onion, not really, dill weed, lemon, oh, Dijon. Almost forgot Dijon. Half a teaspoon, so not very much. And all of this stuff is low to no carbs, but high fat. My whole dinner tonight, because we're gonna make some green beans and bacon fat. I have, I made salads already. So I put guacamole and I have mozzarella. Oh, these mozzarella balls, I wanted to show you guys this. This comes from Costco, super high in fat, no, very no to low carb in cheese. And it's in this really nice garlic vinegar. Oh, my friend um, Kathy told me about them, delicious. And then I usually put a few little almonds on here. I top it with some guacamole and then some dressing. So it's a super high fat. So all of your carbs, if you can, in the day, should come from your vegetables. So we're gonna have some green beans, which have a little bit of carbs. I put asparagus in my salad. That has a little bit of carbs. That's where, during the day, that's where your carbs should come from, is your vegetables, okay? All right, this is ready. So, my salmon, right here. And my pan. We're gonna take these green beans out. Set them there. And we're gonna put that salmon right in the pan like so. Of course, you're gonna have a lot more salmon than me. And this sauce would be perfect for the servings that you're gonna have. You're just gonna top it. And then it does say to save the leftovers to take to the table and use like as a dipping sauce, but I think you could use it as a dressing. I mean, it's super good. And it's good cold, just like it is gonna be warm. So you could use it as a dip for like um, celery or whatever vegetable you pick. Or you could also use it on salad. Okay, so we're gonna put this in the oven. And it just takes about 30 to 45 minutes. I'm gonna pull this one out. Oh yeah. I'm gonna let that cool for a minute before I take a big old bite and burn my mouth. I don't want you guys to see that. That's not gonna be good. All right, let's move you over so we can make some green beans, okay? Mm. I'm not good. All right. Maybe you don't need to be that close. <laughs> there, perfect. Okay. So I cooked off a little bit of bacon. As you can see, not much, just a little bit. And I have some bacon grease already in there from the bacon that I cooked off. And then I have this. So you always wanna save your bacon grease. You can put it right into the uh, refrigerator is what I do. I keep it cold, cause it'll be super soft. We get lots of bacon grease at the restaurant, so I just bring it home from there. But if you cook bacon and if you're eating keto, I'm sure you do have bacon in your world, which is a wonderful thing. So we're gonna let that melt and get kind of warm and put this um, broccoli in there. And we're gonna use the Himalayan sea salt, which we've talked about this before. It's super good for keto. It has your minerals, your electrolytes. If you ever have a little bit of a headache or you're not feeling great, throw some of this under your tongue or just put it in your water, whatever it is, really will make you feel better. Hi, Jill. All right, so. I'm gonna turn this up a little bit, and you probably don't wanna cook it as high as I'm going to. And we're gonna throw the green beans in there. And if I had an onion, which I was supposed to have for this recipe, but I didn't look at the recipe before I left and came home, it would be really good in these green beans too. And these are gonna just be, these are just locally, um, and we have a little farmer's market in um, our little town. And I went up there and bought some of these 
and a couple other things when my um, nephews were here. So I wanted to kind of get rid of them before they got too soft. And how great to cook them in. If you've never had green beans cooked in bacon grease, mm, you're missing out because it's delicious. All right. So those are starting to cook. I'm gonna put some of the salt. And pepper. And then I'm just going to put a little cover on them and let them cook. And then we'll try this salmon, okay? Here we go. So, I had a lady today, we were talking about the, the dish I was going to cook tonight. And she was saying, I can't have salmon, I'm allergic to seafood. So you could make the same exact thing with chicken or pork or whatever you choose. If you don't like, I don't even, I don't know if it would be good with meat, like steak, but um, you don't have to have it with seafood. You can make it with chicken or pork. Either one would be great. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Can you guys see it? How does that look? Looks really good to me. So when it kind of browned up, I think I was at about 45 minutes when I pulled it out. I think that you could probably go 40. It depends on how thick your salmon steaks are. Mine were pretty thin. You saw that at the beginning. And um, so they didn't take the full 45 minutes. So let's try it. Mm-hmm. Mm it's hot. That's delicious. It's very dilly. So if you don't like dill, cut back on the dill. But that is so good, so creamy. And then the salmon, so it changes the, the flavor of the salmon, because salmon is definitely um, got a distinct taste. This um, sauce kind of makes it more of a creamy fish tasting, not so, so fishy. Yum, yeah, it's delicious. Okay, let me check the green beans and then I'm gonna go eat dinner. You guys saw the salad already. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit so I don't get popped. Look at how good those look. So you just wanna brown them up a little bit. And you don't wanna overcook them. You, you like your green beans to be a little bit firm still. So these are about done. And I'm not going to put any butter. You could put a little butter if you wanted, but I got lots of baking grease in here. I think it's going to be perfect. And I am not going to try those because they're going to burn my mouth, and you're not all going to see that. I refuse. Okay, that's it. If you guys want me to cook anything or if you have any questions, just inbox me or ask me on here and let me know what you want me to cook, and I'll do it. Have a good night. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you.